Hey all Gary Simon of Corsetro. Now today we're gonna take a look at a project and team management tool called Monday.com. And really it's suitable for any size team, maybe just two freelancers that are starting a new business together from just thousands of collaborators working with each other on an, an existing project or company across the globe. Now for me personally, as my business grows in 2019, I'm going to start delegating tasks to others and I'm going to show you how monday.com can be used for such scenarios. So whether you're trying to build up your business from scratch or you're trying to manage or your existing business, we all know you have projects, deadlines and tasks. So. Let's see how monday.com can help with that. All right, so I'm gonna start at the very first step, which is to create a new account. I'm just gonna put in Gary at GarySimon.net and hit sign up. And of course you have to check your email and put a six digit code. All right, I have it now, I'm just gonna paste this in and there we go. So the first thing it's gonna ask us is I uh, full name, Gary Simon, uh, password, and then my phone number, which, there we go. Next, all right, we'll save this and team name. Okay, I'm just gonna put design course here. And how many people do I collaborate with? I, I'm just gonna say two to five. Um, because with my, uh, I'm, what I'm about to start doing is just to uh, to delegate some work uh, to people to, to handle some basic things. So. Um, what does your team do? <clears throat> so in this way we can share some template ideas. So what do we do? Uh, let's see, I guess you could say creative or design um, or education. There's a lot of different things uh, that this could fall under, but I'm gonna say, I'm probably gonna say education. That seems like the, 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 the biggest thing that I do. I educate people, right? Um, at least I hope I do. So what is the main thing you want to manage? You can always change this later. Um, projects for clients, internal projects, to-do lists, uh, sales, product, roadmap, agile development, orders, HR, other. Um, okay, again, this is, you have to, you're gonna have to sit there a while and, and think if you don't know up front of what you do. Um, I don't do projects for clients. Uh, internal projects, uh, I'm not exactly sure if that would, be relevant for me. I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna say to do's and lists. All right, now choose your account URL. That sounds good, agree, sign up, and that is the onboarding process. All right, so um, who's on your team? Okay, well, this part, I'm obviously not going to, to do this. I, I'll just do it later. All right, so welcome to Monday.com, um, let's go. I like the design and the UI of this already. I could tell um, they have a designer who knows what they're doing. Fortunately, you can see um, just all the fundamentals are there. Um, what do you want to track? You can always add more layer later. Um, manage task priority, um, task approval, set due dates. I want that. Um, monitor progress tracking. Let's set that on too. Now notice what's happening down here. Um, as we toggle these on and off, it, it's showing us columns. And you'll see how this comes into play momentarily. Um, I think task priority, progress tracking, and due dates would be pretty good. I, so let's hit build my board. So that's all just a, a way to get you up and running with a, what they call a board. Um, and that's where you just manage a, a specific project uh, or task somehow. So the way this is set up, uh, and you can see they have little helpers and hints over here. Let me um, close that out. Let me uh, increase the size just to make sure everybody can see what we have going on here. Um, so as we can see, we have what's basically a bunch of rows and columns here. And we can see we have due date status, due date priority, progress tracking, all this stuff. Now. That was just based on the initial template that uh, it generated based on those questions it just asked asked us. So uh, we could just start from scratch. Um, you can see where it says try more templates. And so if I click on new uh, and I, let's see here, I'm just gonna call this uh, design course videos. I'm gonna create that board. You can see it has all templates here on the left um, and there are a bunch. And as you hover over them, you'll see that 
uh, it's changing the columns of each one of these uh, these these templates. And so there's a ton. So if, you, if you're dealing with a marketing-based task or project, then you could see that it has what would be common flows that are specific to marketing. I uh, notice it has like platform, Facebook or, or AdWords. So it's just, these are there to make your life quicker and easier so that you don't have to start from scratch, uh, which you can do as well. Um, so as we can see, we have, um, let me see, a content production. That's probably, the one that I would want to use the most, or it would be closest to, to my purpose as a YouTuber. Uh, content calendar, blogging planning. So this is all, all really awesome. Freelancers, they have a section here, uh, just about projects that you're managing for clients or getting paid, if you're trying to track that, if you have a bunch of clients. Um, just a ton of stuff, I, I really like it. Um, so coming down here, Let's hit X on this. And what I'm, I'm going to personally do is just build one from scratch, all right? So what I'm gonna do is take this, I'm gonna hit the down arrow, I'm gonna hit delete. Delete, all right. And then for this row, I'm just gonna delete that. And notice there's a, there's a way to undo your changes, which is really handy. Because uh, I found myself when I first used it, I screwed up and deleted something by accident. I just hit undo and it came right back. Um, and so what I want to do is change up some of these columns uh, that we have here. So we could see uh, the owner. That's not really relevant. I'll leave it there though. But due date uh, in terms of status. And if you click on these little cells right here, you could change uh, to working on it, to, to stock, or et cetera. So this is particularly useful if you're, you're working with other people that you're trying to manage in a team environment. Um, the due date, so December 3rd, uh, I'll say uh, here December 29th. I'm going to change this, by the way, to, um, let's see, UI design course for Skillshare. I'm planning on doing a UI design course in real life very short, shortly as well. So this isn't fictional. Um, although that due date, it's definitely not going to be ready by then. Um, priority, I don't need a priority really. So I could just delete column right here. And there we go. Progress tracking, step one, step two. Um, I'd rather just change that to, let's say, um, the first step in creating a course would perhaps be something like research. And that, of course, I'm just going to put working on it as that would be the first step. Also, I would say progress tracking. Let's change that. We'll change that one, this one to uh, outline. So I, I usually create an outline for the courses that I do. Um, and let's come out here. If we want to add a, another column, we could put in status or text or person, and there's actually a ton more, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, I'm just gonna put status here, and I'm gonna change this. We'll put in from outline, after that, uh, recording. So like recording the videos. And of course, we can very easily move these over. So after outline, it would go here. And then we're just gonna make leave that gray as in it hasn't been done yet because these will be sequential orders essentially. Let's take this back over here. Let's move things over. After recording, there would be editing. So you can see everything's very easy to use. Uh, there's no issues in terms of the usability of this. Uh, editing, and then I'll just put in one more for production. So we'll come back over here. Production. And the progress tracking is really cool. Um, obviously, based on what you have specified, it will go ahead and based on what has been completed, it will update this this progress tracking accordingly. All right. So, uh, of course, we could add a new course or something to be completed uh, after it. This has been finished or simultaneously. Um, you can also assign, if you're working with, you know, people that you're delegating tasks to, you can assign uh, people that you can, 
we come out here and put person, we could just specify one of the people that we've invited already. So I'm just going to put myself, Gary Simon, that's supposed to be handling this particular task. So it makes a lot of sense in that regard. Now we can also do this up here, add a board view. Now this is very cool. So make your board even more visual. So I'm gonna to go to view center and we can add these different, what are called views. So if you have a, a project that where there's a bunch of people uploading files, you can add this, you can add a map if that's you know relevant based on your project, a timeline. So you can visually see a breakdown of your team's workload by time. Let's try that one. And so it automatically will add uh, these views up here. We can add more, by the way, from that list that we just saw. And we can see how it says, uh, in order for this to work, you have to add a timeline column. All right, so we can go to column center. And we saw that before, if you click on uh, the little plus sign for each column, there's something called a column center. Um, there's a lot more. Uh, this is showing what we want here, the timeline. So we're gonna add that to our board. And so it adds a timeline here at the end, let me drag this here to the left just so we can see it because I don't want to be uh, in front of it with my green screen. Uh, but we can see we have this timeline where we can set dates. So now we could say, okay, um, you know, I'm going to give myself or you give another person who, who, whoever is tasked with this particular project from, you know, December 15th, which is the current date, maybe all the way to uh, the 28th. All right. So then we can see in a visual way uh, and, and really manage things in, in a really nice UI uh, based on how many projects and how many people um, are working on certain things in this project. So now uh, that's how you basically use uh, monday.com in terms of you know this being your central area where you delegate and create and manage uh, projects and people and all that such. Now, if we go to my week, I'm going to close this out. We'll see uh, that we'll have uh, past today in upcoming and done assignments. So this is kind of like a portal based on that, that will aggregate all the information from your boards uh, into, you know, what has happened in the past or if there's any um, upcoming assignments or not right here in this section. All right. So just one more thing. I want to go back to our board real quickly and show you all the different types of columns that you can add. So if we go to column center, which showed up behind me, we just hit, you just click on that drop down and go to the very bottom one. You'll see that you have a bunch of different types of columns. So these t columns, they're not just dumb, simple columns with labels. They're, they actually have uh, you know logic that's applied to them based on the type of information that you wanna track associated with your project. Uh, a location, a phone, call your contacts directly from monday.com. This is very, very powerful and dynamic and flexible for those who really want, you know, the, the most robust system for project management within a team environment. All right, so hopefully you found that useful and now you have yourself a new tool from which you can start to really get organized going forward in 2019 with both your projects and your teams. So check out the link below in the description and I'll see you guys soon.